Hello and welcome again to Fox Comics and Games, beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we are unpacking this week's comic book order and uh, this week is, it's Tuesday, August 20th. So these will all go on sale Wednesday, August 21st, 2019 at Fox Comics and Games, beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. We're going to start this week with the uh, uh, Avengers Infinity War Thanos uh, Marvel Gallery figurine. Uh, we got several of these in. Um, really cool, nice detail on them. Uh, affordable price point. Really, really sassy products to get. Uh, and then up next, similarly, uh, we have the DC, kind of the their gallery that is uh, com uh, kind of competitive with uh, Marvel's. Uh, we have the Catwoman uh, figurine in that. Again, we have several of those, and they are pretty, pretty sassy. Speaking of DC figurines... Up next, we have the uh, Harley Quinn Red, White, and Black by John Timms. Uh, really, really cool. She's putting on the uh, Batman cowl, and uh, we have several of those as well. Up from Funko Pop, uh, we brought in the Spider-Man Far From Home uh, Spider-Man. Uh, the upgraded suit is the uh, small print on that, so we got in some of those. And then, starting with the comics, we're going to start first with the discussion of this beautiful creature. This is the first compendium for Saga, Brian K. Vaughan, Fiona Stable Saga for Image Publishing. Probably the biggest comic property over the last five, six years. Uh, but they have just started these big, thick compendiums. Uh, it's a paperback to hold down the cost, but they are still very nice. A uh, very wonderful way to collect that series. Drops your cost per comic down to like a buck eighty something, or really, really a smart way to buy this if you're into reading saga, which you all should. If you're not reading it like Valiant, then there's something wrong with you. Uh, so that kind of gets us started uh, with that discussion. Our comic books will kick off this week with Marvel Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool issue one, and then uh, as always, we show the beautiful variant covers. There's the variant cover for Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool, issue one. Then, from Dark Horse Comics, we have, uh, from Brian Wood, Aliens Rescue, number two. DC is up next with part of their Year of the Villain uh, Dark Gifts uh, series. It is Aquaman, issue 51. And uh, one of our top... Uh, five covers of the week, and in the running for cover of the week, um, the variant cover for Aquaman. So you can see how gorgeous that is. Then next up from Dark Horse, we have uh, Avatar, Sute's Path, issue six. Uh, from Aftershock Comics, we have issue one of Bad Reception. Uh, then from DC, part of their facsimile series, we have Batman with Robin, the Teen Wonder. And uh, those, those are pretty cool. And it's even the ads inside look just like the original version. Really, really neat. Uh, then next up, also from DC, we have Batman, issue 77, part of their City of Bane. And uh, then the, the beautiful variant cover, also in our top five covers of the week. Uh, Batman 77. Uh, next up from Dynamite Publishing, we have Betty Page Unbound, issue 3. And then, as we always do, the photo variant uh, for the Betty Page Unbound, uh, issue 3. Uh, next up, uh, also from DC, we have uh, Black Mask, issue 1, which is part of the Year of the Villain tie-ins. Titan Comics is up next uh, with one that has been surprisingly popular here in the store. Um, issue 2 of Blade Runner 2019. Also from Titan Comics this week, issue 14 of Bloodborne. Uh, Image Publishing is up next with wonderful Ed Brubaker's Criminal. And that is issue 7. And it's criminal if you're not reading it. Badoom, boom, ha. <sighs> He's been gone on vacation, but he's still got the humor. Uh, next, uh, from Marvel, we have issue 10 of Daredevil. 
And then again, one of our top five covers of the week, a great job by Marvel, the Daredevil 10 variant. Just a fantastic cover on that. Also from Marvel, we have Deadpool Annual, issue one. Also from Marvel, Death's Head, issue two. Dark Horse Comics is up next with Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Sounds like some of my prom dates. Issue 3. Uh, let's see. Uh, next up from Image, we have Excellence. Issue 4. Also from Image Publishing, Fair Lady. Issue 5. Very popular here in our store. A good book. Great read. Uh, and then, as always, the variant covers for Fair Lady, issue five. Boom Studios is up next with Brian Azzarello's uh, great book, Faithless, and that is issue five of Faithless. We also are carrying the, um, I guess it's called the Erotica cover variant. It is bound so kids can't get at it, um, but we are carrying those as well. Uh, next up from Marvel is Fearless. Issue 2, also in from Marvel, Ghost Spider, Issue 1, Albatross Comics brings us Issue 4 of The Goon, and then just a fantastic, in our top 5 covers, and one of the runners up for covers of the week, The Goon Scotty Young variant, just fantastic. It's hard to beat that cover. Next up from Marvel, we have issue 8 of Guardians of the Galaxy. And uh, again, as we often do, the beautiful variant covers. There is Guardians of the Galaxy issue 8 variant cover. Next up from Scout Comics, we have issue 1 of Headless. Dark Horse Comics is up next with issue 1 out of 3 of Hellboy and the BPRD. Saturn Returns. Marvel is up next with History of the Marvel Universe. And then as we always do, the beautiful variant covers. There's History of the Marvel Universe Issue 2 variant cover. Uh, then from Source Point Press, uh, we have Issue 3 of Hope. Antarctic Press is up next with Horror Comics, Issue 2. As you can see, uh, Foxes, we do carry quite a lot of the uh, small and independent publishers. It's one of the ways we try to distinguish ourselves from some of the other stores, make it, give you a reason to visit all the stores in the area. Uh, next up from Dynamite, we have James Bond, Ian Fleming's James Bond 007, uh, Issue 10. Great cover on that one. Uh, then Aftershock Comics is up next with Killer Groove, Issue 4. Dark Horse Comics is up next with Issue 3 of Last Stop on the Red Line. And then Titan Comics is up next with Issue 8 of Life is Strange. When you're a stranger. I think Jim Morrison said that. Uh, Valiant Publishing is up next, and if you're not reading Valiant, well, you should be. Issue 9 of Livewire. And then, as always, if you have Livewire on your pull list here at Fox's, this is Issue 9 that you'll be getting. It is the pre-order edition. It has additional pages of content, different cover, same price. Next up from Marvel, we have Marvel Action, Spider-Man number 7. A lot of people enjoying that here at Fox's. Uh, also up from Marvel, Marvel Comics Presents, Issue 8. And uh, according to them, Spider-Woman is breaking news. Next up from Image Publishing, and just a great book. If you're not reading it, please do yourself a favor and jump on this book. Uh, these, are, these are a gift to all of us who read comic books. It is from Image Publishing. It is Issue 10 of Scotty Young's Middle West. Really, really neat story. Good art at a fair price. Uh, next up from DC, we have Nightwing, issue 63, with part, their part of the Year of the Villain Dark Gifts tie-in. And then again, one of the beautiful variant covers, 
is Nightwing issue 63 variant cover. Next up from Dark Horse Comics, issue 2 of No One Left to Fight. Then from Marvel, we have one of the bigger uh, titles out this week from them and has been one of the more popular titles uh, in quite a while from Marvel. We have Powers of X, issue 3. And then, as we often do, we will show you the variant covers. There's the Scotty Young variant, which is in our top five covers of the week. Um, another variant cover for Powers of X, issue 3. And yet another variant cover for Powers of X, issue 3. Next up from Image Publishing, Pretty Violent, issue 1. Valiant's up next with issue three of Psylords. And remember, if you're not reading Valiant, there's something wrong with you. And again, if you have Psylords uh, on your pull list, this is the issue three you'll get. Additional pages of content, different cover, same price. Uh, Black Box Comics is up next with Psycho List, issue one. And then from Dynamite Publishing, we have... Red Sonya, Birth of the She-Devil. Sounds like a prom date for Mr. Fox. Issue 3. Speaking of Issue 3, Image Publishing is up next with Issue 3 of The Ride. Speaking of Issue 3s, Marvel's up next with Issue 8 of Savage Sword of Conan. Speaking of Conan... Marvel is up next with Star Wars, Dr. Aphra, issue 35. Speaking of Dr. Aphra, issue 35, there's the beautiful variant cover for said book. Marvel's up again with issue 5 of Star Wars, TIE Fighter. Uh, next up is a book Mr. Fox is quite excited about. Uh, it's from Dark Horse Comics. It is issue 1. Of Strayed. And of course, we have the beautiful variant covers for Strayed issue one. Another one that Mr. Fox is quite excited to have uh, in, it come in this week is uh, part of the DC Black Label series. And this is Superman year one. And this is issue two. You can see that it is bigger, taller, and whiter than the average comic. That's that in the variant cover. And then next up from DC, again, we have Superman's Pal, Jimmy Olsen, issue two. And it's Crisis of Infinite Jerks. <laughs> oh, that's good times. And then, as we always do, the beautiful variant covers. And there's the beautiful variant cover for Superman's Pal, Jimmy Olsen, issue two. Next up, also from DC, we have Teen Titans, issue 33. And as always, the beautiful variant cover of that. Next up, and in our top five covers of the week, because as always, the art is just phenomenal. From Marvel, issue 13 of Thor. Don't look at any of these like they might be the Court of Owls. They would not have stolen that idea. So, no, that's not the Court of Owls. Uh, those of you who've been uh, missed out on IDW's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 95, uh, the second printing has released. So, if you're looking to own that and you don't want to pay crazy money, there's a great way to do that. We have plenty of those here at Fox's starting tomorrow, the 21st of August. Uh, next up from Marvel, issue 15 of Tony Stark, Iron Man. Uh, also from IDW, issue two of Transformers, Ghostbusters. Next up from Marvel, we have issue two of Jane Foster, Valkyrie. Uh, before we get to the last couple of books, I wanted to take a moment and thank uh, a couple of the people that work for me. Uh, Chris, uh, Jesse uh, down in the game store, uh, Caleb down in the game store. Um, um, Risa, Risa, God, Risa, Risa here in the uh, comic store. 
all of these people stepped up uh, and helped fill the blank uh, last week and a little bit extra while uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fox slipped out of town and um, we would be remiss if we did not take a moment. They did the video for us last week. They unpacked. They ran this entire operation two stores uh, for a little over a week uh, so that the foxes could get out of town and hide from the law. So we want to thank them publicly before we finish this. And to not be anticlimactic, we've saved that moment for the cover of the week, which this week will be the Stanley Lau Vampirilla, issue two. Stanley Lau cover, just absolutely gorgeous. And yes, you can kind of see some nipple under the blood. So those of you that are perverts, the book will work for you as well. Uh, and then lastly, we have uh, from DC, Wonder Woman, Come Back to Me by Amanda Connor. That is this week's comics and some of the sundries. Uh, please come in tomorrow on Wednesday, August 21st, and pick these up and more at Fox's in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. Thanks so much.